Uh, I would like to. I would. I would like to get. Allah's main. Hi, Rosie. Before I start this, I want to say big thank you to everybody this year. You know, we've grown so much. I appreciate all of you copying the merch if you have already, subscribing to the channel, the Twitch, the Instagram, the Twitter. Really appreciate all of you. We're almost at 50k subscribers. I just find that incredible. So I just want to thank everybody for a second. And yeah, let's keep it going. You know, once I get 50k, I'm gonna do a Q and A, and we'll be able to upload a wider variety of things. So Dragon Ball, NBA, everything. That's number one. Number two, don't ask me for any other tutorials. I'm only doing this because I've been asked several, 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 several times, and it's a promise I have to fulfill in the best way possible. I don't care about AK, I don't care about Kunimitsu, I don't care about Feng or Steve or Geese. Don't ask me, I'm not doing it. <laughs> and yeah fam, let's get it started fam. So my general overview of Lars is that he's a generally risky but rewarding character. He's got good damage and good pokes but lacks in neutral with unsafe lows and poor tracking. He's kind of like LeBron James in punishment combos and pokes and damage but basically J.R. Smith and everything else. So with pokes, he's got irritating ones like 1-4, one, 2-1 one, one, and down forward 1, down back 1. These can all be used to grab cheap, quick damage in a quick jab game. 1-4 is a high low string that's good for ending routes or chipping away at opponents. 2-1 two, has two extensions. 2-1-4 two, are knockdown safe high and 2-1-3 are unsafe knockdown mid, which counted launches but is minus 12. Both strings are pretty delayable and can be used to your advantage. But remember this with Lars, if it's a good mid, there's always going to be an issue with it, I promise. Here are some good moves he has though. Back 4, although it's quite linear, it's a nice chunky mid knee, safe on block, 23 normal damage, 55 count hit with an animation and 60 with rage, so anticipate using it to close our rounds, if anything. Up forward 3 being your go to panic move. If you're scared, you don't know what to do, or you're being pressured, this is the way to go. High, certain mid and certain low crushing, and these two are solid combo. I-16 so it's quite fast, but do be careful. He also has back one which is a decent tracking move, like some range but is okay. I-15, safe, good for keeping opponents out of range. Forward forward 1 plus 2, safe from block mid that launches on count hit, does some pretty decent damage too, so it's good to use in a neutral. Even though down 2 isn't too plus heavy on block, it still forces crouch on the opponent, so you do have a chance to get your advantage. For I-10, Lars has 1-2 or 2-1, I-12, forward 2-4, I-13, forward 1 plus 4, I-14, forward back 2-1, 15, forward 1 plus 2, arc blast, 16, down forward 2-1 or up forward 3. While standing, I-11, while standing 4, I-13, while standing 2-1, I-15 being while standing 1 and I-16 being up forward 3. With while standing 2-1 though, you can press while standing 2 forward to go into silent entry or while standing 2 down to go to dynamic entry, which is perfect for mix-ups. Lars' count hit game is okay, it hasn't been the greatest for a while, but it's the best we can do for now. He's got some decent options. You got 1 1 1, it's a jab string that wall splats and is I 10 and is very good for some frame traps. Back 1, a decent range tracking move that knocks you down, giving you nice OK on certain situations. Back 4, need I say more? <laughs> The third hit of the forward 1 2 3 string now launches on counter for a full combo. This is a season 4 edition that wasn't here before. Me personally, it's pretty useless, but it's okay. Down back 4 is quite good, it's got some good range and has high crushing properties, so it's okay. Full crush down forward 2. Although it's not the same as Tekken 6, it's still quite good to have as a full crush option for counting. You can try to use low pokes with Lars, but in one way or another they're quite mediocre. In my opinion, the risk you take to do a low with Lars most times is not worth the reward. Firstly, you have down back one which is an unseeable low poke. 
but only does what, 9 damage and leaves you minus 1 on here. There is an extension being down back 1 free and down back 1 free down which leaves you crouching for a mix up but again it's minus 1 on here and death on block. He has a generic down 4 which is okay but I recommend you use this as a quick safe round ender as the move lacks any sort of range or reliability for you to use it in a reliable manner. Lars's down back 4 is plus 5 on hit giving you the advantage to attack first. Your options from this are either while standing moves or full crouch moves. So you either while standing 4 to be safe, while standing 2 into silent entry for a mix up, while standing 2 into dynamic entry to bait a whiff as he moves backwards, while standing 1 for a direct launch or a forward 3 for a launch. Lars's full crouch down forward 1 plus 2 is another low which in my opinion one of his best lows. Decent damage and for Lars only being minus 12 or 13 is a safe low. After a down back 4 you could also do a full crouch down forward 2 if you know they're going to press for another nice counter launch. Down 1 plus 2 is a high crushing low which knocks down on hit giving you a free silent entry mix up after while standing 2. But again it's death on block. Down 3 1 is very useful at walls against the opponent staying on the ground at the wall. Finally he has forward forward 4 3. This excluding the block frames is his best low. It lacks some range and both hits are launch punishable but it's his hell sweep. A 2 hit natural combo with some nice damage on it. This can also be done in his dynamic entry stance which I'll get to now. Although the stance game wasn't really used that much in tag 2 on Tekken 6, even when it came to combos, I felt in Tekken 7 this is the part of Lars game which got strengthened so 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 much and now almost defines him as a character. Here are the stances and the moves. Dynamic entry which can be entered by pressing forward 3 and cancel by pressing down. Do this repeatedly to get his wave dash. It can also be done through while standing 2, hold down. Dynamic entry 1 is the equivalent of a down forward 1 but a high elbow. It can be followed up with 2, so dynamic entry 1, 2. It can be used in combos if a wall is nearby. Dynamic entry 2, a counter launching mid which is perfect for Oki and helps his combo fill a game so 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 much. Dynamic entry 3, a plus frame, nice mid wall bounce. Although it's quite slow, it's very rewarding on hit and on block. Dynamic entry 4 3, his health sweep and a nice solid round enter while in stars. Dynamic entry 2 plus 3, his insta shining wizard throw, which does good damage but is a 1 plus 2 break. And dynamic entry 1 plus 2, the tail spin, which is used in combos and a good whiff punisher. His dynamic entry 3 plus 4 is his raid drive, but we'll get to that in a second. Next is silent entry. This can be entered by pressing forward after certain moves. For example, forward 1, 2, back 3, down back 2, and while standing 2. And even after a manual forward 3. But I don't recommend you do any of these out in the open. They are quite risky for Lars. The options are silent entry 1, a wall bounce, good for mix ups and a good combo ender. Silent entry 2, a good low option for Lars which is perfect for mix ups. Silent entry down forward 1, an overhead punch which counter it launches, a new season 4 edition. Silent entry 3, a fast launcher with the same combo potential as his orbital. Silent entry 4, which is his backlash, a power crush high launcher. And silent entry 3 plus 4, the new <laughs> glorious addition which helps his combo game a lot more and can quite literally take you from one wall to the other. He also has silent entry 1 plus 2 which is his raid drive but we will get to rage in a second. His silent entry 1 plus 2 is a mid raid drive which gives you heavy frame advantage on block, launches on hit, puts you straight back into dynamic entry. All your plus frame options are off dynamic entry and you can again press down to cancel. Usually what a lot of last players like doing is pressing back 2 plus 3 instantly after the raid drive on block which gives you the unblockable to get a free launch. It can be interrupted but once it hits it can give you nice damage. His second raid drive dynamic entry 3 plus 4 is a new season 4 edition. It's a low mid string although minus 13 on block and gels is perfect. It gives you nice damage. If used at the end of a combo by the wall you get a guaranteed down back 2-1 and shoulder after the combo. 
these are the combos for Lars. I put here some nice combos for Lars's launches, but to get the max damage combos, I recommend you watch a couple videos I'm gonna link in the description. Aside from the regular 1 and 2 throws, he has half forward 1 plus 2, a 40 damage 1 plus 2 break throw, which gives you 5 extra damage at the wall. 1 plus 3 also breaks the floors if you're fortunate enough to land it. Also, forward 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 2 plus 4, another 40 damage throw, which with the same input gives you an air throw mid combo and has a guaranteed 40 damage shoulder at the wall, can also be performed with dynamic entry 2 plus 3. Up forward 3 plus 4 hold. Here's some tech you find with Lars. During a combo, instead of doing back 3 forward 1, do back 3 forward down forward 1. This puts your opponent back on the ground for a mix up. Essentially, you either hit them with a low down 1 plus 2, or if they duck a mid, be neither forward forward 1 plus 2 as a safe option, up forward 4 to relaunch them, or running 3 to acquire plus rings, or maintain your turn and momentum. If they stay on the ground, down 1 plus 2 does the trick. When back 4 trades, you're plus 15. If you can, get a forward 1 plus 2 to get damage. Get a forward back 2 1 if you're prepared for more damage, but forward 2 4 is the easiest option. You have an extra 3 frames to do so as well. Or standing 3 down for plus 7 to set up counter hit full crouch mix ups. After most knockdowns, do dynamic entry 2 to guarantee extra damage, because a spring kick will fully pick the opponent back up. Any wake up kicks will get counted launched and even when they're laying down it can guarantee some damage on here. After a successful wall carry, do down forward 1, down back 2 1 and then forward forward 2 forward into silent entry. Then either press 2 if they stay grounded or 3 if they wake up back turned for a launch. It can be avoided if they tech roll early so make sure you know what to do. When full crouch down forward 2 launches on counted, side step left and do this combo. This is a guaranteed 95 damage combo. The way the opponent's body is splattered on the floor guarantees a down 1 plus 2 which is an extra 30 damage and no matter what way they try to wake up, the down 1 plus 2 will hit them. When down 1 plus 2 lands, you can mix your opponent with either forward forward 3 plus 4 or forward forward 2. Forward forward 2 will hit most tech rolls and if they wake up expecting to duck while hitting the forward forward 3 plus 4, you get a free launch. After doing the down back 2-1 in a wall combo, press key charge 2. 
This can be quite effective against some impatient players. It gets you free damage and a free high wall splat for extra damage. Against Miguel, Fakenram, Marduk and Drag, 4 back 2 1 could be used after Shining Wizard at the wall to set up Oki or extend unbreakable floor to take combos. If back 4 lands on a back turn opponent, 4 back 2 1 is guaranteed for huge damage. Do down back 1 3 to sidestep left. This is a good way to check your opponent for button tendencies. If they try to interrupt with any fast moves, a sidestep left will beat them. If they try to interrupt with any slow or tracking moves, 1-1-1 one, one, one will always beat them, so you have options to choose from. Down 2 down into our standing 4 is a very good way to end rounds on low health opponents. Two safe mid options, which hardly fail. After the dynamic entry raid drive in the open, do forward forward 2 and press forward to get a free silent entry mix up. This will either hit grounded opponents or catch opponents that are trying to wake up too fast. 